right. Now we're doing Freight Code Camp, JavaScript Algorithms and Data Structures, Basic JavaScript, Generate Random Fractions with JavaScript. So random numbers are useful for creating random behavior. JavaScript has a math.random function that generates a random decimal number between zero inclusive, so it can be zero, and one exclusive, so it will never be one. So that's math.random can return a zero, but never return one, oh yeah? Anyway, so note, like storing values with the assignment operator, a function calls, pardon me, all function calls will be resolved before the return executes. So we can return the value of math.random function. So we're going to change random fraction to return a random number instead of returning zero. All right. So like we could just put math.random right here, just put a math.random, math.random like that. And it will work. See, run the tests. It does work, of course. But the thing is, for since since this is a video, right, and a billion bajillion people could possibly watch this, cross your fingers, right? Cross my fingers. Uh, one out of those bajillion might run into a zero, right? So let's fix this to where it'll never hit zero by using a do, do while loop that we just learned, right? So first we're going to say do. No, first we're going to say let result, all right? And so that's going to make the result uh, variable, and we'll change the result in just a little bit. So we'll say uh, do, and we'll do this right here, and we'll say uh, result equals math dot random, like that. And then right here, we'll say while uh, result equals zero. So if it does get a zero by some random chance, it'll come back through and do it again until it's not zero. And then we can just say return result like that. So let's come down here and say console.log random fraction and then have this right here. Oh, come on now. And then have this right here. And we'll see, we'll get the random run one right there. And if we do it over and over again, I mean, look how many numbers we got to go through. Look how many digits there would be. What is that, like a quintillion, a trillion? Who knows? That's how long it would take to get a zero. That's the chances of getting a zero. But this guarantees it no matter what. So let's run the test. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to generate random whole numbers with JavaScript. And we'll see you next time.